Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. This is Derek Kim. Hope you are doing good. All right, today I'm coming with something very amazing, big thing. You know, I've been asked a lot of questions. How are you able to do color grading by using references? You know, one of our big thing that makes you to get a lot of looks, multiple looks, when you learn how to color grading by using references. And another thing is one of our benefits, a big benefits about it is I able to do any kind of look uh, when it comes to the references is I don't do the same thing that I used to do. Like I, I, I got to push myself so much further. That is big benefit about it. It makes me doing a multiple stuff, which is most of my clients wants is, you know, some people, they come in like, okay, I shoot this music video, but I want this look like this. So it's big stuff. It's big stuff. And it's, it's make easy job for you as well all right this is dr kim if you never subscribe this youtube channel i beg do so if you just you know you are new about this channel i'm i'm selling master classes loots package and as well as dct house power grades and i'm doing car grading services all right i don't like to talk too much if you never click the bell button please i beg smash that one all right let's jump into the davinci resolve to see how i did this magic I, how i just copy the color grading from uh this music video from um banner boy this music videos uh i forgot the song but yeah actually it's top so the day that director gave me this video it was like okay bro i just shoot him with the wall like this and i want the skin tone to be like this and this so these are my reference please i know you are you, you are magic boy so i know you can do your magic there all right, so into DaVinci Resolve, uh, as usually as we used to do, these are often like I used to do, like this was uh, the shot that shot with the Sony camera. Actually, to be honest, this camera is not like, it's not like the big camera. No, it's just a small camera, but the magic does have been done here. It's making everything looks easier. <laughs> you know, some people, they ask me like, what camera are these guys? These are small camera, you can see and these are exactly the projects as you can see there's other clip here and what i've done so far to the group here is only a matter of um noise reduction and these things like halation and film cranes that's it these are dctl guys these are dctl that's why i'm telling you i'm selling dctl these are dctl from Fimverse. what it does is just give me the grain of an image and this is um from workout tools qt alation is give me that film alations you guys know about it. it's about blooming stuff like that all right so every magic that i've done is i've done into these parts so i'm going to open to you uh how exactly i'm doing um grading with the references uh the first thing that i'm doing is i make sure i snap the the picture or uh, image of my references so i put into to my edits yeah i put it to my edits there and then i'm coming back here from anywhere that you get it from youtube anyway so this one i got from youtube and then i i grab stills like this so you can see it's in my gallery and after that i've done my short cut so it got easy job for me but if you don't know you can just click this button and then you can click this button as well so he has different stuff i often like to do selective clip when i want to do like short imaging like this so this is how i do but it's not fat it's not it's not what i'm going to do now it's now is about to do uh differences so i'm coming to select still grady so here is giving you uh not not this one sorry it, this one is giving you the references so my shortcut was uh shift y this i've done on my shortcut if you don't know you can you can check there how to do uh like this i using your shortcut here is a problem a lot of beginners they struggle how to make color grading as pro level youtube itself can never pull up to that level director kim came up with the massive masterclass phase one and phase two which is the phase one has three parties and each of her parts has a long house video having an issue with the car senses color management creating different looks fixing problems how to balance proper your footage chart matching deal with the small budget camera everything you need to know from davinci resolve masterclass has deep explanations if you really struggle with creating look director kim never seen enough till he 
made the 26 lats which is has loop DNA and skin tone lat and color separations. This CTR power grade also available. Director Kim really wants to shift you into next level. Have a permanent mentor who can guide you well to your journey of color grading. He decided to create a WhatsApp group for his own student member. But remember, to join a WhatsApp group, you need to buy one of his products, either Masterclass or Loot Package. Now, let's back into the lesson. Alright, so uh but before me jump into my references first i just balance the image of her all and then it, when it comes to the look dna they are starting doing my just just as i told you they are starting doing my references all right so the first thing that i've done so far is same thing uh this the same thing that's used to do car management stuff like that and here i use uh, it's it's i use car space transformation convert it into uh let me go back here this is was composed node compound node yeah so i converted this to rex over nine and another thing i just put into the film log i mean film emulation loot you know it's having just a film emulation loot so it makes the image looks cinematic okay another thing that i've used is this are uh, the answer plug so the answer plug is also giving me the film emulations as well all right so the first thing that's a touch as usual as we used to do like nothing else like nothing else is exposing balance you see but when i touched this thing i didn't even I didn't even touch the difference to look at how the balance can be because the the image is different thing. So what I'm focused on the dynamic range and color overall. That's where I focus on, not like exposing. Like here, I'm doing my own. Like you have to you have to pay more attention about it. All right. Another thing that I've done is I've done the balance. So after doing the balance, like make sure everything's well corrected here there you can switch to your references and this is what i've done so i just switch it to my references to the right side and mine's to the left side and then i'm trying to look what type of look that's working better to me so i've just i was checking on some of my loot packets that's how i told you guys have a loot packet this one is giving me a splitting it's not like it's changing the look no it's just give me the split of i made this this loot what helped me so far so that you can see the gray in the blacks a little bit you know the image was about a uh, magenta too much so this loot is give me that split it give me it pushing my image to the green side you can see my blacks it gets a little bit of bluish and yeah somehow to the skin tone all right so i used another loot outside of car space this loot never done so far but at least it got gave me some uh juice on my image that's it's it's give me a little bit of uh, printing but not too much i use this to do my print but not too much but it's very well effective all right so another thing that's i've done with the skin tone so as you can see to my reference my skin tone is little bit muted but it's kind of a check rate and this lady doesn't have done color she's not black so we can't get that chocolate but we can get a little bit of magenta skin and when we talk about the saturations the skin tone of these people a bit not so much saturated that you can see that's how i've done a skin tone it's not like my skin tone is going to end up right there no yet there are some stuff that i've done as well to get the skin tone where i want it to be all right so another thing is this i've done this um this um you adjustment here is a problem. A lot of beginners they struggling how to make color grading as pro level. YouTube itself can never pull up to that level. Director Kim came out with the massive masterclass phase one and phase two, which is the phase one has three parts and each of her parts has long house video. Having an issue with the car senses, color management, creating different looks, fixing problems, how to balance proper your footage, shots merging, dealing with the small budget camera, everything you need to know from diving to resolve. Masterclass has deep explanations. If you really struggle with creating look, Director Kim never seen enough till he 
made the 26 lats which is has look DNA and skin tone lats and color separations. This CTR power grade also available. Director Kim really wants to shift you into next level. Have a permanent mentor who can guide you well to your journey of color grading. He decided to create a WhatsApp group for his own student member. But remember, to join a WhatsApp group, you need to buy one of his products, either Masterclass or Loot Package. Now, let's back into the lesson. This huge adjustment is to really catch up into this wall because you can see the my wall is so much of orange and it's popping color the color is so much on popping and as well as you can see uh it has a little bit of a brightness and that is not what we want even though like uh even though like this this their their wall you can see perfectly there's this part the wall is lighter and the, this area the wall is darker so mind the wall overall is so much of uh light because the lights are much popping to the background the, the way they light it been set is two different things so yeah so what i've done so far is just balance the wall a little bit so I reduce the saturation doesn't make my image much in poppy and as well i've just used this u versus luma you know it's giving some density it's giving some you know it's make it a little bit gone. if you can see yourself if i'm turn this off you can see my wall is brighter but if i'm turn this on you can see my walls get a little bit dark it's density you can see that walls is like that all right so another thing that i've done is like i've so still uh my wall is not that dark you can see still still bright and it doesn't give much separation or dynamic yeah that's what i told you the, the thing that's a coped is dynamic and color overall it's not like exposing the exposing all day with my footage depending on the footage you have so this one uh what i've done so far is that i qualify the wall to push more further because this only it can never do everything can never do anything but this one is helping this one to get a better place and this one if i not do this and when i jump into this this one going to be too much and i just want a very less touch less touch hope you got what i'm talking about so into this part i just um qualify the the this thing this area this wall but you can see the wall has a bit similar color to the skin tone so i got to be very careful to my selections and even when i touch things i didn't want to do too much you see so into this area what i've done so far is that i reduced the saturation only the saturations nothing much only because these are these are things that i saw if i could touch it it, it won't going to lose uh most of detail to the skin tone and another thing is i reduce a little bit of brightness you can see if i push it back you can see and if i push it down you can see it's giving the fade and one thing that i like the less parts when you touch it's a little bit making my skin tone has uh dynamic ranges different ranges you know some parts too much bright some parts are very less and bright so it's making it as well beautiful but i was like nothing do it too much okay another thing that's i done you can see our look has bit similar today but we lost some of magenta tone you can see so we lost some magenta tone ours are a little bit yellowish and green so i was like okay let me try out to pull it to magenta so we can have much closer to that differences you can see this one uh you can see yourself that we got green one and we got magenta one this magenta is very much closer you can see even the background you can see the background the way it's looking at the that's the magic of color grading guys all right so another thing that i've done is just a glow to make them bloom you know catching the ball the look, look at this are beautiful and this one last guy what i've done for you guys is i didn't like the way my you can see their blacks are much pure blocks here mine is little bit of bluish so i was like let me deal with them little bit that's it that's it these are detail these are detail you know about this so this is where they from my footage were like this and this is what i've got so far 
the magic that I've done. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I showed a lot of my techniques. Hope you go practice this way, like you are doing a practice day. If you are going to do much grading with the references, trust me, you're going to be a very, very great scholar because doing grading with references has much benefits. You know, sometimes we do color grading and we get used to our touch, our tone. So sometimes we need to learn something new. And how you're going to get that is by trying doing different things so when you're doing a uh, references there you're going to see yourself like where I'm, i've been limited myself so we need to work beyond our limits so references is helping you so much to get out of your boundaries and pushing more further to your journey all right so if you watch this video and you never subscribe yet <laughs> bro you are so selfish please click the bell button right there comment if you love this video and as well check in me in box if you want the grading and loot packages dct us power grades everything is not problems contact me right now see you on next tutorial